Okay, we're continuing with the repairs on the 1986 Corvette. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install a brand new battery. Uh, this is the battery I just picked up. It's the Interstate battery. It's brand spanking new. So what we have to do is we have to install it in that area right there. That's the reason the fender skirt is missing is because that has to be removed to, to gain access to the battery. So what you have to do to make sure this battery stays connected is you have to clean all the corrosion off the battery cables. And those are the things that go from the car to the battery. There's a negative cable and a positive cable. What you have to do is make sure that there's no corrosion on those cables. And the way you do that is you take some baking soda and water, you mix it up, and you squirt it onto the cables where the metal is if there's any corrosion on there. And what will happen is that the baking soda and water will eat any corrosion that is on those cables. And then once those cables are clean and free of any corrosion, then you go ahead and treat them with some dielectric grease or some Vaseline or some no corrosion that you can get from the auto parts store. And that just keeps it from corroding and making sure that you have good connections on your cables going to your battery. So that's what we're getting ready to do. We're going to go ahead and install the battery. And then I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like once it's installed. We do have a brand new battery installed in this 1986 Corvette. The fender skirt is on. Nice and lined up. Body lines are straight. It's on nice and snug. And uh, now we have a new battery installed in here. ready to go to the tranny shop. That fender skirt hasn't been on for six months. It's back on now because there's a new battery in there. 